Bienvenidos, damas y caballeros. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Yanay Moran, here with the weather for Thursday nights. Let's go into the future, shall we? Right now, we are at 79 degrees, and then winds at 5 miles per hour heading northwest, and then the sun setting early today at 6.52, which now it is officially fall season. On Tuesday was our very first day. So let's take a look at what it was like on campus today. Today on campus, as you can see, it is officially fall. So we are starting to see the leaves falling. So we got to get used to the sound of the crunch. Now for our overnight lows. Along our I-25 corridor here in Port Collins, the lowest will be at 54 degrees, Denver at 62, and then Colorado Springs and Pueblo at 57. Along our mountainside here in Vail at 47, and then Grand Junction, our highest, at 57 degrees. And then on our eastern side here, side here Sterling at 49, and then Lamar at 50 degrees. Now for tomorrow's highs, we will be very warm temperatures. Along our I-25 corridor, we will be at 89 degrees. In Fort Collins, Denver at 91, Colorado Springs and Pueblo at 96, and then, wow, Lamar breaking the record at almost 100 degrees. That is insane for September. Grand Junction again, over at 83 degrees. Now for tomorrow's forecast, it looks like we will be at 89 degrees high with a low temperature of 54, partly cloudy, and then winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour headed southwest, and then the sun setting again early at 651. Now for our five-day forecast, Friday again at 89 degrees with a low of 54, Saturday going back up to 87 and a low of 52, and then Sunday, of course, back down to 72, which is lower temperatures than Monday because obviously we have to work on Monday. And then lower temperatures on Monday, again at 48. Tuesday back down to 72, and then a low of 43. That is all we have for the weather today, but don't go away just yet. We have a lot to talk about in sports and the Miami Heat with Brendan Febrarian right after the break. <laughs> 